I love making love at midnight. I like making love at midnight. Whatever. Fucking's happening. Anyway, um, Zero Two is the wallpaper, and I wasn't sure to go with this one or not, but best girl. Best girl. I mean, there's arguments either way, but it, um, so the Grado, and the model number is the uh, GW100, and I bought it. I bought it from the internet because no one's going to send this to me because no one's going to fucking buy them because they're... <laughs> what? <clears throat> so this is a $250 pair of plastic Grado wireless headphones. Well, let's sink in for a second. And Grado has made some, some good headphones. Uh, my... my 60s SR60s are over there. You put the big pads in them. You tube them just right, and it's like, mmm. But those are like $80 headphones, and the pads are like $15. So it's like under 100 and then you need a tube in. But I'm about to embark on a journey to try to pry $250 out of your fucking wallets. Because here's the thing. This is the best uh, headphone Grado has ever made. And I... I staring at the GS1000s over there on my wall and those were like $1,000 and you know, I'm attached wire though so this, I mean, and, 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 and I love my 60s and I've heard like a lot in the middle and all of them pale in comparison to what a DSP corrected Grado driver can do. I am fucking floored by these headphones. That's it. That's the, end, that's the end of the review. Thank you very much. Zero two download in the description. Just check them out on the links in the description. And thank you for supporting this channel. Um, because there's this, if I didn't Patreon money, I would not. I would be like waiting. But I'm like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm doing. I got like seven Bluetooth headphones. I'm doing. Let's throw this pair in there. It'll be an easy. It sucks or it's okay. Wipe the slate clean. Best open back fucking headphone. Grado has ever made, and it's it's eking into the rest of the open back headphones, and it's really disturbing. Like <laughs> it's just like, um, oh, spoiler alert. So I was gonna save this for the end, but fuck it. You can plug these in. Let's let's look at them. They're 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 plastic. Different slide system than the SR60s usually have. If you know anything about Grados, it's still a slide system. It, it's much nicer here, and this isn't gonna crack in half because there's no seam. And it's got a little wire to go from one side to the other. The headband itself is, is actually padded. It's got a good linear clamp, just like the regular ones do. Uh, the pads look fucking uncomfortable as shit. They're not, however, when you peel them off, if you know anything about Grado's, you know that's what a Grado looks like underneath the pad. However, the um, they've changed the diameter a bit. So a much bigger flared flange. This is an original Grado pad. So you can't swap out to like a giant Grado pad. Oh my God, I may have to do it. Uh, let's put this back on here. Glued in driver, it's just always like, 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 like she's not flawless, people. She's got flaws. The whole show was a pile of garbage at the end, but it, it's, it's still like the zero two tattoos on the internet. Um. <sighs> Plastic body, not wood. I don't know if these are made in Brooklyn. They don't say, they say Brooklyn, New York. They say the address. They don't say made in Brooklyn. I'd love to believe that these are an American made headphone because then the 250 makes sense. Because to make a headphone in Brooklyn costs money and you got a little bit of an upcharge and have to go real cheap. But to make a Bluetooth wireless headphone where you source the bat, I mean, I'm sure they're not sourcing the batteries local. I'm sure they're not sourcing the Bluetooth chips local. But but to, to actually like, I wish I hope these are made in Brooklyn. Someone please correct me in the comments because I'm not looking into them that far. Plastic, better better slide mechanism than Grado's ever had. That I I I'd flop, snap my fingers, put it on that fucking set of thousand not in a heartbeat. Uh, the the cups are plastic, whatever. Open back. This is an open back Bluetooth headphone. Ain't nobody asking for that, Grado. But thank you for listening to yourselves because I am I am severely in love with these 
like it's obs it's stupid it's it's one of those blind loves that you'll end up in a spaceship in the space and then your girlfriend turns into a giant spaceship and then you drift for a thousand years i don't know the the control many many a company i've i've come across my desk with a first time headphone fio made that headphone swan made that headphone and now this is the first wireless grado headphone and every other headphone can suck a dick because it's it's in a it's a we open up the little USB door which again it doesn't need the door but it's here and there's USB C so automatically I'm like oh oh ho Grado hired someone who understands that I would fucking yell if it was USB micro so it's a sealed USB C I don't know why it's sealed like why does it need the door but it's there you get a microphone you get a little LED. Well, you get a three and a half millimeter input. We're going to talk about that three and a half millimeter input and how they should have never, ever put it on this headphone. Um, you get the chonkiest buttons. Like these are like some old people, 90 year olds can use this with their big thumbs buttons. It's just a rocker, negative and positive, And then the power button is separate. And this will do play pause. Uh, volume, which is the chunky volume control on your phone. You hold the button. Restart a song or next track. Mm. And uh, somewhere in here, somewhere in this just very plastic, big, chunky button uh, headphone, is a DSP correction chip that takes whatever they say that they said in the website the driver is bottom up and brand new, and it, it's probably from something like along the 325i series, which was a trebly murderous nightmare with no low end, because if you use this three and a half millimeter port, which they've decided to include, you can bypass the DSP correction of this headphone, and it is utter garbage, utter garbage. The sound demo for this headphone, which is absurd because I had to like put them on the recording rig backwards like this with no pads on it so that the, they were just shining at the microphones because the, the magnetic drivers in this must be so big that they were just throwing distortion. And for the very last, at like the very end of the sound demo, which is a 20 minute long sound demo, which is one of the longer ones, I, I plug it into the A90 and expose the, the horrifyingly amazing truth. When you DSP correct a driver that is that unstable, you got an F22 fucking, uh, what's the hell, Raptor. The F22 Raptor, I think, is one of the airplanes that's like completely unstable without computers. Like completely unstable, like it couldn't fly through the air. It would just fucking fall down and die. But there's so many computers that because of that instability, it can make moves like crazy. And I think that's a similar thing that's going on with these headphones because it, when you plug them in three and a half millimeter, it sounds exactly as bad as the worst Grado you've ever heard. I've done some real shit shows. The uh, 500E, my friend did the 325Is. It was, they're bad. They're bad headphones. You can't fix them until you DSP correct specifically for that driver. And where did this low end come from? And oh my God, the sound stage and everything's so natural. I implore Grado to never make a passive headphone again. How's that? Just never do it. Because whatever's in here, whatever tech you focused on, just drop all the, drop them, drop it. Because this is the best fucking sounding open back. Maybe just the best sounding, like it's it's way up there. Anything that you, anything in the price range, anything in the two hundred fifty dollar price range, and we're looking at like like DT eight eighties are an amazing headphone. And I, I call them God, and you need to power them with eighteen watts. But you know, they're not DSP corrected. You still need to do things. The pads change. This is just you know, turn it on, connect it to your phone, hit next track, and. The difference when you plug it in and bypass the DSP is startling. I, I'm, I'm planning on it, left and right is indicated. I never dreamed. 
<laughs> the better of me. Oh God. Every every like I'm only got the flack on my on my phone that I've I try to do with the Bluetooth sender here, and I feel like this is Bluetooth five, and this isn't, and if this is doing LDAC, which I, it's hard for me to check, every it's just so fucking good, I can't stand it. I can't like it's Zeos. How much are you turning the shill up today? Oh, eleven, motherfucking eleven, because ain't no one gonna buy these unless I go holy. Fuck at you real real loud because it's like no one wants first of all open back Bluetooth headphone seems like a stupid thing. They have managed to do something which I, I realized this before I read it on the website um, They're open back in the back and open in the front obviously, but There is a legit reduction of, of exposed sound to the rear they say 60%. I, I would have said like more like 40%, which is impressive because most open back headphones are just the same in either direction unless you're Mr. Speakers. So th they actually did concern themselves with, you know, hey, maybe we should make it so that it's not projecting whatever the fuck shit you're listening to outward. They've done that, which might be the reason why they sound so bad with the wire because when they did the dampening in the back, it probably affected the driver response, and they were only able to correct that with DSP, which they don't even say the word DSP at all on the website. The website is, is if you go to grado.com, you can read this whole thing, and it's like, oh, it, it apparently has a de-stressed driver. I don't know what that means. I never heard that form before. Notably, notably reduced escaping sound. Yes, it is notable. I don't think it's 60. It has a wire. Does he know what comes with wires? Uh, basically a USB-C cable and a three and a half millimeter. I'm just using my um, perfect RBH cable. Lightweight, wireless, duh. Uh, matched drivers to within one tenth of a decibel. Uh, Grotto's first Bluetooth headphone are everything I want them to be. Uh, striking and refreshingly affordable. Yeah, that's it. It doesn't go into like any detail of how they're doing it. So I'm gonna just tell you right up straight up the fucking bat. They did this with science. It's Project Melody, as part of the science team of Project Melody. This is this is as important as she is. Um, science, motherfuckers. You, uh, this is the best implementation, and ex this could be a test bed for anyone who's like, what does DSP do? All right, come here. Plug in the wire. Plug in the wire. Play. That's a, that's a that's a fucking that's the best headphone amplifier I've ever got. Plug it in with the DAC. Let's listen to this song, and then okay, are you are you done? You've examined these headphones. You know how they make you feel. Now let's go the same song. Click Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Turn it on. Play. Holy fuck! What happened? A Grado with low end. A Grado with low end, and not just like you know boosted low end to make it happen. Linear. Like these are still open. These are still Grados when you put them on. They're a big foam pad. And it doesn't even, they do no sound reduction of the world because they're just a big fucking opening. But if I change tracks. Cording the landslide. I'm definitely not getting monetized for this video, by the way. There's gonna be way too much of me cursing and sound. So please. If you want to support this channel, Patreon and subscribe star linked in the description or on a pinned comment. I'm gonna skip to the middle. Uh, they sound so complete. <laughs> like, like it's almost impossible to imagine a Grado sounding this complete. Like I could do it with the 60s and the bigger pads and a tube amp and it sort of mulls it all together and you get like a cohesive sound. Or you just buy these and go play. Mm -hmm. I'm uh Yeah, there's the bit like where's that low one? Where where Like they must be correcting the drive I'm trying to pause it there. They must be correcting the driver massively to do this, but the driver doesn't care. The instable fucking wild, like it's a driver with schizophrenia and someone's managed to figure out how to speak to the schizophrenic driver and tell it to do exactly what it wants to do and it delivers sound to your face and you're like, wow, 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 wow. You're just like, wow, this is a, a Grado? 
Headphone grotto? I used to say grotto. Now it's grado, but it's gridado. Gridado. Whatever the fuck you want to call it. Um, I, I, I told... Um, I, t I told uh, Dakoni, the, the the guy at Dakoni, like, hey, buy these and then start making pads. Someone someone needs to figure out this because you can get by with this. I'm I'm gonna get by with it. It's a weird, uncomfortable feeling on your head the first time. If you've never worn Grados before, it's strange because it's a it's a very it's an on ear, but it's got this weird pivoting system and there's mass to it. So you put it on, it's sort of like ooh. Ooh, ooh. Oh, I want to point out also, they fit on my head with the sticks all the way at the bottom. So this fits on my head, which is kind of off-putting, because that means if you're a person with your ears higher than mine, you're going to have a hard time. So you might need Dakoni Nuggets. I'll link the Nuggets. Those are these things, in case you don't know. These are the new ones. And they're just like a memory foam. They're like a fake leather, which is very soft and memory foam and they come with adhesive and you would just go and you go bloop bloop and you would lift this up entirely. They don't need it for comfort. They're, they're, they are absolutely, Grado has always been a very comfortable headphone as long as you know that the pads are gonna break in over time and they're flat and you know, you could do this to the, to the headband because it's just a metal headband. There's a wire through it, but you could do this to sort of like reshape it to fit your exact head. And then you could straighten out the ends. What I do, see, see the way those Grados are, or that Grado headband is? I flatten it in completely, and then I go straight down and I extend all the way, and then, then it's perfect. It's sort of like an Abyss 1266. But with this, with this sort of thing, I'm going to do the exact opposite. I'm going to make it as tight to my head as possible. So the most of this can touch my head as possible, which lowers it, and then it, it doesn't matter. That is perfect. It's just, it's just, like I'm, I'm on, it literally all the way to here. This much of this touches my head when it's on it, and then it's just a matter of getting used to the pads, which can be a little strange. I don't know who's buying these because when you're getting a headphone, when you're getting a headphone, just any headphone, you are probably figuring out where you're listening to it. If you're at your desk, it doesn't matter. If you don't have noisy environments, you don't have uh, kids that shouldn't be listening to the r gangster rap you're listening to. You know, you could just have an open pair of headphones or a closed pair of headphones, whatever you prefer. But when you go Bluetooth, and that means portable, 90% of the time it means you're going outside with it. I mean, maybe you're just mulling around your kitchen cooking things, in which case this is perfect. But you're still getting leak. You're still getting you know more sound out than normal. KPH30Is, which are like my go-to for everything because they weigh nothing, you can change the pads, even though they're open, like these are open, they don't project sound because the driver is minuscule. So this is now becoming the alternative to that. And I'm probably going to use it over the KPH. I think it sounds better than KPH 30 eyes. Only when you power it with its own internal Bluetooth, which by the way, holy fuck, it claims like 30 hours? Hold on, where the fuck's the page? Yeah, 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 I get it. it I, I realized I never charged the fucking thing, and it's like, yeah, you know, right? 40 hours of battery life, like, where's the, based on 50% volume, these get super loud, so you're not gonna take them much higher than 50% volume. Uh, oh, battery varies due to volume and music genre, because bass kills it more, and I like a lot of, like, acoustic soundtracks, so 40, Fuck off hours? That's like the cherryest on the cherry of the cake. Like her smile, that's me right now. You can't see me, so I put zero two here to sort of represent who I am right now. Because it's just, like, I'm so happy these don't suck, but I had never expected them to be this good. Just never expected it. I mean, I threw away $250. I, I, I took that big gamble, that big gamble. And when I got them and I unboxed them, if you watch the unboxing channel, they smelled like cat piss. I'm pointing that out too. I, I'm saving that for the end of the video because I really want you to like concern yourself. And I think the cat piss thing is probably just something that happened to me because that's my luck. <laughs> that, that's Zeos's spend 250 on a headphone, hope it's good, but as soon as you get it. <sighs> and it was, it was the foam itself. Like I literally, I cleaned and washed this foam. You can do that in a sink, which is what's the nice thing about Grado is not like a foam pad. It's not like a cloth pad. One of you is responsible for this, and I thank you very much. But like this foam, family run for six decades in Brooklyn, New York. 
This foam still smells. I washed this. Oof. <clears throat> like it smells, like I know. I have a cat and I've had other cats. It smells like a, some cat walked into the warehouse in Brooklyn, which makes me believe why they're afraid in Brooklyn. And we're just like, you see this pile of headphones? Psst. They're mine now. And no one listens to cats, so they just shoot him away and then they shift a bunch of cat piss headphones. But I really don't want that to distract you from the fact that you'll probably get a set that doesn't smell like cat piss and then explode your fucking brain. It, it takes a lot. It takes $250 to beat KPH 30 eyes. It shouldn't be a shock. But anyone who's got a set knows how good those are. And if the comfort, if we could just tweak the comfort of these, the, 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 the pad, just to be like a little bit bigger, a little bit more area. Uh, you know, because you, obviously you can't just stretch the little ones over. You have to do some actual maintaining. This could be, this could be end game headphone for people. I'm, I'm tempted to ask Grado through this video, hi. Could you make um, your top of the line headphone wireless? Because here's the thing, Hi-Fi-Min has done this. Hi-Fi-Min makes the wireless, not Arias, what the fuck are they? You know what they are. They're, they're like the big, the big ones, the big sons of big, they're all the same driver setup. But they, I was like, why did they make them Bluetooth? And now it makes sense. Because all the problems you have with a headphone can be remedied, well, most of them can be remedied. If you control the digital source, the amplification, and any corrections that are going on, you can fix a headphone. Just like these speakers. These are the Swan a D1090s. These might be the best speakers I've ever heard. Spoiler alert for the future review, unless this comes out afterwards. And it's not because the driver is something special. I mean, that's a nice tweeter, but the waveguide and whatever fucking weird DSP correction they're doing inside of this is 2020 elite status. Like it, 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 it was like, oh, Genelot can do that? Yeah, hold on. But it's not even room correction. It's just driver correction. It's phase alignment, time alignment. And that's multiple drivers. This is just a single driver. They're just able to literally grab it by the balls and squeeze until it's perfect. These are a perfect sounding headphone. I did not expect, I did not expect this from a Grado wireless to come out and just be everything I want in an open back headphone. Prodigy Memphis Bells is currently playing. Here, let's fuck them up. They shut off, power off. Is a very, very cheery sounding um, woman with no accent. How long does it take to fucking come on? Oh, this is completely unplugged and detached. That's gonna make my life more difficult. Let's just plug them in here. Like, all right, wired. That's that's treble. That's that's some that's some Dragon Age Origins or last theme. Let's skip forward. Ah, ah. It's trying to do low end, but it's not. It's not succeeding. That's Tango and Cash. Gypsy Kings. I would say these are... I would, I would, no, oh God, no. Oh no, no. I would not recommend these. I would not recommend these if these were just a wired headphone. There's that big a difference. And I want to see that in other headphones now. It makes me want to, it makes me wonder, what if they DSP corrected TH909s? The ones that are super amp dependent. What if they just took out a fucking laser and pointed at the driver and measured exactly what was happening from the input to the output and went, oh, we could fix this. Science. Science team. We're not watching porn alone. We're, we're fixing headphones apparently. Like fixing, fixing the the sheer concept of headphone. This is this is it. This is my this is my uh, albatross baby. Oh, is that a thing? I don't know if that's a thing. But uh, now I'm gonna look forward to any weird ass Bluetooth headphone, because THX Tech exists. Things like the fucking uh, Drop Panda exist, which are the physical embodiment of DSP correcting a headphone. Now this is the physical embodiment of DSP correcting a headphone. And I fucking welcome our DSP overlords. 
as long as you don't fuck it up and you didn't do something bad this is the future of audio this is the future of audio and this is the future of audio and we're not gonna have to worry about a lot of things still maybe room acoustics and you know losing your hearing because you're playing shit too loud but this it this it i'm done uh, sound demo for these, which is very odd, but in the description. I'll also be coming out live tomorrow if you just want to watch tomorrow. Um, I tried to demo with the wire. It, it's more difficult, but I managed to get it. I also believe I had to send it from my phone, which was a pain in the dick. Because I have a rogue, I have a rogue Bluetooth signal somewhere in this apartment that just keeps taking over all my devices. Um, that wallpaper available in the description. So give Zero Two some love. It's not like the other girls in that show weren't weren't great, but they just they they did useless. They're all useless, and she turned into a giant spaceship. Spoilers. So she's useless too, but but we all love her still. And um, yeah, the Patreon and Subscribe Star. Like I said, I'm definitely not going to be monetizable. Way too much music came out of these headphones. So if you support the channel for five dollars a month, you get to see these reviews early, real early, and something like this where I'm like, this is the greatest fucking thing ever. If it's on Amazon, you want it fast. It'll be gone by the time this is public. So that's why you want to pay the extra to see it early. So see it early. Ask me any questions you want on platform. If you're putting together a home theater, you're putting together something else, your uncle left you a whole bunch of equipment, you want to, you want to pick my brain. You can do that on either platform. Um, do a small questions. Don't do a giant fucking worksheet because I need to get to like a bunch of them. And if you want to ask a bunch of questions, you can join the $10 Telegram chat, which is available for either Patreon or Subscribestar. Both have the same benefits. And um, I should go back and say, also, the yard sales happen. These will not be in the yard sale. These are going to be taken out to compare against any future headphones that I think need to be put in their place. So, ha, 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 250 well spent. That's it. Um, I'm, I hope my shilling doesn't sh scare you away. Hope at least it has to just spark a little bit of intrigue. All right. Yeah, I'm shilling the shit out of these, but I paid for them, and no one else is paying me for them. Because if you get them from Grado.com, I don't get a penny. But I want you to under-fucking-stand what magic this is. Weird fucking magic. And I hope more of it comes out. So that's it. Goodbye. Goodbye. Sound demo. Zero two. Goodbye.